Hello and welcome. It is December 2nd, which means we're opening our FCC Advent Cabinet Day 2. Let's see what's in there. It is a microphone. Uh, the reason it's a microphone is because we're talking about Luke 1, 25 and 26, when the angel comes to Mary. And that passage says this. We'll start in verse 27. The angel appeared to Mary. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. Gabriel appeared to her and said, Greetings, favored woman. The Lord is with you. Confused and disturbed, no kidding, right? Mary tried to think what the angel could mean. Don't be afraid, Mary, the angel told her, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David, and he will reign over Israel forever. His kingdom will never end. Verse 34, Mary asked the angel, but how can this happen? For I am a virgin. The angel replied, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the baby to be born will be holy and he will be called the Son of God. What's more, your relative Elizabeth has become pregnant in her old age. People used to say she was barren, but she has conceived a son and is now in her sixth month. For the word of God will never fail. Interesting right here, this last line, verse 38. Mary then responded, I am the Lord's servant. May everything you have said about me come true. And the angel left here. There's so much to talk about here. And you know this story, right? Everyone knows this story. But one thing we can take from it that I want to take just for today, there's lots of things we could, but the thing I want to pull out for today very quickly is this, that part of why Mary was able to respond with such great faith is because someone that she knew and loved, Elizabeth, had experienced a miracle. And so the testimony of Elizabeth's life to Mary was enough for her to believe. We talked yesterday about Elizabeth's faith, and certainly the way she lived her life in front of Mary is a huge factor here. So as we move toward the end of 2020, ask yourself this. Who is watching you? And what is the testimony of your life? Let it be such that when God moves in incredible ways, your faith encourages and even empowers others to believe and to step out in faith. Lord bless you. Merry Christmas.